What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin. I'm going to show you how to use HomeBridge to connect to your Nest and to be able to control your Nest using HomeKit and Siri. So, let's just get started. I have a tutorial on iDownload blog you can follow step by step, but I'll just walk you through this video as well. The first thing you want to do is install Node.js and you can do that via this link here and you'll see the download link for the package. And once you download it, you just open the package and you click continue a couple of times and then it's going to ask you to agree and then click install put in your administrator password and it goes through the setup just like that and then just click close all right so we're done with the installation of node.js the next thing we want to do is to download the config file you just click the link on the post on idownload blog or I'll also have the link in the description of the video as well and then you just want to drag that to your desktop and then open it with your favorite text editor. You can actually right click on it and select open with to select a specific text editor. Once you do, you're going to see two fields in there for username and password. And you just want to update those for your Nest username and password. So for the Nest, this is generally going to be your email address that you signed up with for the username and then your password. And then just save that and then you can close out of your text editor. All right, so the next step is to run NPM in our terminal window. Um, so first thing you wanna open up your terminal window, you can just go to Launchpad on your dock, click on the other folder, and then Launch Terminal by clicking on it. Now we're gonna use NPM, which is a package manager. So you just wanna copy that first little line there on the post on IDB, and then enter, and you're gonna see some output there. You may see some warning messages. You can just ignore those. Just wait until the, the uh, process completes. It'll take a few seconds uh, to go through there and complete. And then you should be back at your uh, prompt here in a second. So we'll just wait on it. All right, so now we're back. Now we can enter in the next command. And we'll just copy and paste like this. This shouldn't take long at all. All right, and then we'll do our final command, which is to launch HomeBridge. And you're going to get an error message because we need to actually copy the config file over to the right directory. So what we'll do is we'll go up to Go in our Finder menu and select Go to Folder, and then you just want to type the following in there. If it's not already, it shouldn't be. If you haven't been there, just click Go. And then you'll see this Persist folder, and then it'll just be, a, the rest of it will be blank. So you can just drag over the config file right there next to the persist folder and we are good to go so now we're going to launch terminal again and this time we're going to type home bridge again this time it'll actually work or at least it should so home bridge and then return and then you'll see this so it's actually connected to your thermostat so now we want to grab our iphone and download the devices app this is a free application that allows you to connect to HomeKit devices once you launch the app you're going to see something that asks you to give access to your home data. You want to make sure you give it access. Tap Add New Device. Tap Create New Room. And then you should see the HomeBridge server. You want to name your room first and then tap the HomeBridge server. And then tap Add Anyway. And now you'll see Add Accessory. And you want to just tap Enter Code Manually and type the code that you see on the terminal window. So once the code is added successfully, you'll see Accessory Added. And now we can just use Siri to control our Nest thermostat. Watch this. Set temperature to 75 degrees. Okay, I set the Nest to about 75 degrees. 